David Watkins, the Regional Prevention Director for the Division of Substance Abuse and Mental Health under the state's Human Services Department. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for having me. Um, what are the three skills that parents can use to help prevent underage drinking? Yeah, so we like to focus on telling parents to bond with their child, so spending time, having fun, doing things they like to do, setting boundaries, setting those clear rules and expectations that includes maybe having a clear conversation with them about the harms um, alcohol can do to their brain, um, and then setting clear no underage drinking rules. And the third one is monitoring, monitoring what your child is doing, where they're going, who they're hanging out with, how they're spending their time. It seems to me monitoring could be uh, probably one of the most challenging parts of those three skills. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that. What does that look like? I like to think about it as a sports analogy. In sports, there are boundaries and rules that sports teams have to follow. But we don't just teach them the rules and then let them go play. We have referees there um, that follow, that, that enforce the rules. And that's really what we're doing. If we can think about it as a sports game, we set the boundaries, but then we need to take the time to follow up with the rules. And, you know, there's fouls. If someone fouls in basketball, we can set the rules. You know, you lose your phone for a week if you break one of our rules. And so it's really important. It really helps keep every child needs help staying alcohol free. And that modern monitoring is that key piece in, in doing that. David, I remember when my uh, when I was growing up, I was a teenager, and my dad, I'd tell my dad where I was going, and he would start asking me a whole bunch of questions. And a lot of times he would repeat the same question over and over again to find out where I was really going and what I was really doing. What are some of the questions that parents ought to be asking their teenagers before they leave the house? Yeah, parents and parents are just asking the five W's. Um, some of those five W's include, you know, who are you going to be with? What are you going to be doing? Is alcohol going to be there? Um, and this video that we have will kind of outline the rest of those five things. But asking those five questions every time your child leaves the house is a great way to monitor and for you to know what they're up to and what they're doing. And then following up with them when they get home, you know, ask them, did your plan stick to it? Did, did you change? You know, what did you end up doing? Yeah, sometimes it's a challenge, especially when they come in after you've gone to bed. But at least at our house, we don't go to bed until everybody's home. So anyway, well, listen, David Watkins, the regional director for regional prevention director for the Division of Substance Abuse and Mental Health under the Human Services Department for the state. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me.